morning, Diesel. How you doing? How you doing? We're in New Jersey. That's right, we're in New Jersey and we're at our delivery point. We are unloading our trailer. We will be empty after this. And as soon as dispatch gets into work, because it's still earlier out there in Manitoba, they're gonna tell me where to go next. Uh, no idea where, all I know is it's gonna be in Canada because we can't interstate, right? We can't deliver, pick up in the States and deliver in the States because I'm a Canadian citizen. We gotta go back and forth and back and forth. So if you're new to the vlogs, welcome. Go back to day one of this trip. It'll make a whole lot more sense. Uh, the guy you've heard about, probably, maybe, probably not, and that trucker Josh guy, yeah, that's me. That's nice to meet you. That is Mighty Diesel down there. He's a diesel weasel. His name's Diesel, but he acts like a little weasel. Name. Okay, guys, so I will get back to you when I know where I'm going next, because right now I have no idea what's going on. I just know once I'm unloaded here, I'm probably going to go back to Flying J, park there until I know. And I'll talk to you then. Alright, we have our marching orders. Didn't take long, it was waiting already for my phone call. We are headed to Allentown, Pennsylvania to pick something up going to Lethbridge, Alberta. But it doesn't have to be delivered for a week yet. And it would only take me like three days to get there, so it looks like I'm headed home. Either way, even if I carry through with it, I'm gonna go home and reset at home instead of going there and resetting out there in the truck. So, we should be home. Let's see, what is today, Friday? We should be home Sunday. If all goes well. Sunday or very early Monday morning, we'll see. And uh, I'll have these videos uploaded for you then. It's looking good, having lots of fun. I'll see you uh, down the road. We're gonna stop at Flying J right now, uh, where we spent the night in Carney's Point. We're gonna transflow our PODs in as our proof of deliveries. We're gonna sort of fax them over to Keystone so that they know that I delivered it and I get paid for it that way. And we're also gonna grab a coffee. Yeah. Diesel, you ready to go home? Hey, ready? That means it'll be another week long trip. This is a nice little freeway. We are on I-476 northbound, also known as Veterans Memorial Highway. It seems every highway I drive on is a memorial highway of some kind, so. Big shout out to all you out there, Canadian and American military people. We're all fighting for the same cause, usually. But, yeah, I'm driving on your Memorial Highway right now, thinking about you, wherever you are. Hope you make it home safe. So many trees everywhere, so green. I feel like I'm driving through a jungle. You know what they need now? They need monkeys swinging across everywhere. That'd be awesome. Giraffes and elephants sticking their heads out. Okay, so we're here in uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania, almost at our pickup point. And I hope my GPS knows where it's going because this looks kind of tight. How about this? I'm always nervous going to some of these pickups in these congested places of the country. You never know, is it a truck road? Is it not? Uh, I don't know. Over to the left here, there's a big business with trucks, so I'm guessing this is a truck road. And there's been no sign saying no truck road yet, so I'm giving After her. After one quarter mile, turn right. I'm gonna keep giving her until I see a sign. Okay, and we're loaded on the road again, back on the turnpike. That's right, we're paying to drive. Well, I'm not paying, but someone's paying to drive here. Someone's paying for me to drive here. Diesel, you excited? We're headed home. You excited? Very excited. Can hardly contain himself. <laughs> hey, it's bumpy. Wow, I thought we'd pay to drive on a smooth road. Oh well. So yeah, we're still in Pennsylvania. Let's see, we're gonna be going through Pennsylvania, through Ohio, through Indiana, through Illinois. 
Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota, and then Manitoba. We've got a long ways to go. So it is Friday afternoon now, 2.43 Central Time, and we will be home probably Sunday evening, Sunday night. So these videos will be up to you Monday, I guess. Yeah, and I'll probably uh, leave Tuesday morning. We'll see. We shall see. All right, buckle up, Diesel. Oh, you can't really buckle up. Whatever, get ready, hold on. We're going home. All right, so we're just stopped at the pilot here. Exit 256 on I-80, headed west through Pennsylvania. We got a uh, fax in our uh, PODs, like I said, and also our border crossing paper, so it's ready when we cross on Sunday. Diesel's pumped. Yeah, you ready to go outside? Do you need to go outside? <laughs> yes, I do, yes, I do. I wanna go outside. <laughs> wanna go outside? What do you need to do out there? You don't want to know. <laughs> you ready? Okay, we're gonna walk Diesel and then I'm gonna go in, do my paperwork, and grab a coffee, and we'll be off on the way home. We are only 2,444 kilometers away. Nah, yeah, sweating. 25 hours of driving. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, guys, we're still screaming down uh, I 80 westbound in Pennsylvania here. Diesel's enjoying himself on the floor there. He's staring at me in admiration for about a good hour. It's kind of creepy. But yeah, he does that sometimes, just for hours. He'll just sit there and just stare at me in complete admiration. I think that's what I think he's doing. So we have a estimate of when we will be home. Yes, it is our best educated guess. We are 2,350 kilometers from home base. That is 1,460 miles, I think. You can do the math. Okay, so that should be approximately 24 to 25 hours of driving, right? We're gonna have to split that into two days after this yet. So that means we're gonna have to sleep twice. Every time we stop to sleep has to be 10 consecutive hours, right? So you add 20 hours onto the 25 hours of drive time. That equals 45. So we should, it should take 45 hours to get home, right? Then you gotta add in bathroom breaks, lunch breaks, rest breaks, stuff like that, you know, traffic. So I'm gonna add an extra three hours on for that. Cause we're gonna boogie home, we're gonna give her. So. We have three hours to mess around with in the next two and a half days. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I don't like stopping. I give her. So we should be home Sunday at 4.30 in the afternoon. It's my best guess. We'll see how close I am. We are about to leave Pennsylvania and enter Ohio. Welcome to Ohio. So much to discover, is what the sign says. Awesome, so we cross into a new state. That means you gotta wake yourself up and get ready for a scale. There's usually a scale just before you enter and leave a state. We will keep our eyes peeled. We're gonna keep going about another three and a half hours yet, so. 20 after 8 central time right now. We're gonna go till about midnight or 11.30, we'll see. We'll see where we end up. Might even get through Ohio. I don't know how long it takes to get through here, but pretty close. All right, end of day and we are in Toledo, Ohio. Exactly 1,772 kilometers from home. About 18 and a half hours of driving ahead of us. So we're gonna do 11 tomorrow. And what does that leave us with? Seven and a half or so for the last day. And I'm still betting we're gonna be home Sunday at 4.30 in the afternoon. My best bet, my best guess. My guesstimate, my educated guess. Whatever you wanna call it. Diesel, what do you think? Sunday, 4.30 sound good to you? 
What are you doing? Oh, he's hungry. Oh, okay. He could have eaten this whole time. Anyways, thanks for joining me today, guys. Tomorrow it'll be a drive to Chicago again. I will see you then.